After 238 days of waiting for the return of Texas baseball, that wait is officially over. Opening day for the top-ranked Longhorns playing the first of a three-game home series tonight against the Rice Owls. 7,000 plus at the dish. Pete Hansen getting the opening day start, and boy, was he fantastic. Or what David Pierce looking on, six scoreless frames, punching out eight Owls, giving up just three hits, walking just one. As for the offense, why don't we say hello to Silas Ardwan? Silas saying sayonara to this baseball. No doubter, he knows it. Deep left center, two zip horns in the second. Ardwan, well, he gets himself a curtain call in the second inning. Then with the score, five nothing in the fifth. That little kid eating some cotton candy. And then I'm sure he's spitting out that cotton candy when he sees Ardwan. Lays a one out double to left. Two more runs score. Texas shuts the door. Seven nothing. Your final first season opening shutout for the Longhorns since 2018. I mean, yeah, it was a, it was an honor uh, to take the ball this Friday night. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I felt good with my stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, my stuff felt good from the get go. So I just trusted and, and uh, kept making pitches. Game two, 2.30 p.m. Saturday at the dish. Number nine, Texas softball down in Florida for the St. Pete Clearwater Elite Invitational pair of games this afternoon, taking on number six, Florida State in game one. The Seminoles behind this Michaela Edenfield three run bomb take a six run lead in the third. Now eight nothing in the fourth one. Mary Iacopo says, I see you later. Solo shot her second of the season that puts Texas on the board, but it's not enough. Horns fall nine two. Game two, another tough battle. Texas taking on 25th ranked Auburn. The Tigers jump out to a four run lead in the first behind a pair of home runs. The Horns, they muster just two hits in this ball game. Auburn gets the win 6 2. So Texas falls to a pair of undefeated teams today down in Florida. Crossing over to the Irwin Center, where tomorrow morning we'll get round two between Texas and Texas Tech. Of course, how could we forget Chris Beard's return to Lubbock earlier this month? The Red Raiders smoked the horn 77-64, but since that loss, Texas has won three of four. Even better, the horns are 3-0 and this season when playing ranked opponents at home. Trying to think back here, uh, first game in Lubbock, obviously a, um, a great atmosphere for, for the home team. Um, but we played in other environments like that. You know, this is Texas, so uh, it's not like it's easy when we go to Allen Fieldhouse or down there to Waco or Gonzaga and other places. 11.30 a.m. tip-off at the Irwin Center. And tonight, I'm filling in for the incomparable Jeff Jones because Double J was emceeing the Special Olympics of Texas Winter Games kickoff event. The actual games start tomorrow with events like powerlifting, flag football, and track. Mark Henry and Jamal Charles are both huge supporters of this event, especially Charles, who told our Jeff Jones that the Special Olympics of Texas changed his life for the better. Them stories never get old, man, because uh, I was once in their shoes, you know what I'm saying, lost, didn't have no confidence, didn't have nobody feel like uh, to talk to. And then when the special coming part of the special members, it's just so genuine to talk to the, my people, like feel like that my kind. So talking to my uh, being around the people that special Olympics, it just it make me feel confident. It make me feel excited about living a life. Confidence is key. All right, that's it for sports. We'll be right back with a final check of your forecast.